I got introduced to the comics by my father. He would say, Morton, go get the newspaper. And I'd go down and get it, and he'd say, bring me the comics. And I'd get in bed with him, he'd put his arm around me, and I'd look up at him and smile, and he'd start reading the comics to me. His favorite cartoon was Moon Mullins, and he laughed so hard, I would watch the tears coming down his face. <laughs> you know, And I, I would think, what a wonderful thing to do to somebody, to make them laugh and enjoy life and everything. And I decided right then and there, three years old, that I was going to be a cartoonist. Then by the time I was about 11 years old, I had my own comic strip in a weekly newspaper there. And it was called The Lime Juicers. Beetle Bailey is probably one of the most successful strips in the business today, maybe of all times. Uh, I've been doing it 65 years, and they say that I'm the longest strip in history done by the same cartoonist. And they said, I said, why don't you do a strip about the Army? I said, well, the war is over. They said, well, well there, there's other wars going on. <laughs> and people, people know about the Army. So I said, okay. So I decided to put him in the Army and make him a private and stay at basic training. And uh, so that's everybody's experience. If, if I put him in a, uh, any kind of a unit that would be going overseas or doing something, then that wouldn't be everybody's uh, experience. So I've kept him in, in basic training, you know, for 65 years. <laughs> the minute I put him in the Army, <clears throat> the strip began to succeed. Now, all my characters are based on real people. Beetle was a friend of mine named David Hornaday, who was tall and lanky, and, and everybody liked him. He was very popular and everything like that. But he was so lazy and, and, uh, and just always sort of getting in trouble. And, you know. I get ideas uh, from reading the newspaper and seeing some, somebody make a statement, and I, I turn the statement into something funny. Uh, if things happen to me, uh, I can I can make them into action gags. Um, I can do 20 ideas in an hour. What surprises me about my age today and what I'm doing is that I was sick for a long time. I had a bad back and aches and pains and stomach problems, and I was going to doctors all the time until one time I came back from having my neck worked on, a uh, the therapist uh, worked on it pretty soon. She says, how's that now? And I said, that's fine. So I get in the car and I drive home. By the time I drive home, the pain is all back. And I said, they're not curing me. Nobody's curing me of anything. And I said, I'm gonna take over my own health. And I gave up smoking, I gave up drinking. I, I got a healthy diet, a lot of fruit, vegetables, no red meat, and uh, 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 all of a sudden, I'm in better shape than any of my kids. I don't want to retire because I say, what would I retire to? <laughs> you know, I, this is sort of like retiring right now. I mean, I'm, I, I sit here at this desk and enjoy life.